Okay, so hi Sagittarius. Hi Sagittarius. So you guys know I'm always working, so I'm at work right now. But I want to get a video out, okay? So I want to see what we got for Sagittarius regarding love. Let's see what we have to say. Let's see what our spirit guides have to say for romance, right? So I'm using my witchy uh, tarot deck. I love this deck. Like, I've been waiting to get this deck. So I do feel like you may have, some of you guys may, may decide to get intimate with someone or there may be like a quick one night stand i'm getting like that's for the sagittarius males you may decide to hit someone up and you know have a one night stand which is okay for you exactly that's that's for the masculine sagittarius that's just your i mean that's your confirmation for sure so don't take this is not going to resonate for the feminine so don't say much okay don't even take that part let that part go for the females because that's not your situation Spirit guys, what message do you have for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Any strong Sagittarius placements? What do you have for Sagittarius? Confusion. The first thing I got from this was confusion. And this is the Five of Swords. So we know the Five of Swords is about pushing people away, playing mind games, being jealous, tit for tat energy somebody is very confused i feel like there's somebody here that you could have recently like been thinking about or somebody's been thinking about you a lot um or maybe this person could have laid things to rest or there's been an ending in a situation i feel like somebody's been playing a lot of mind games there's been a lot of confusion been going on here i feel like there's just somebody that's very swifty I feel like this person could be lying to two other people or they're just playing games. So there's somebody here that's playing a lot of mind games. They could be playing mind games with a healer. So there could be somebody here that's like of the dark and they're booking readings with tarot readers to confuse them and things like that. I don't know if that's your energy. But I'm also getting like there's just somebody playing a lot of mind games. They're being very deceptive. They're being manipulative. They're, they're just self-sabotaging a good connection. Where they've self-savaged a good connection due to their been playing mind games. Due to this person, I don't... Okay, so let me clear up the confusion. I don't think that this person is playing mind games currently. No. I think this person is confused because this person pushed you away. Because of this person's self sabotory energy. So now this person is confused because you may actually be moving on. I mean, if somebody's playing mind games with you, how do they expect you to be with them? Yeah. I'm also getting like, there could be a woman here that's playing mind games. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if she's just talking shit or something like that. I don't know if somebody expected you to like feed into their mind games somebody expected you to argue or cuss them out or feed into their bullshit or you could have went off on somebody or turned into a bitch because you started to speak your truth because you were disappointed in a man here you were disappointed in your masculine because this person played a lot of mind games they it was a lot of confusion here and so i feel like this person may have played mind games with you and another person here so now this person wants to come back and finish something. They may feel like there's unfinished business or they may feel like there's still something here. But I feel like this is all just your person being confused at the fact that they pushed you away with their mind games. It's a very painful ending. And now this person pretty much is lying to themselves about the fact that they don't feel this ending just as much as you do. This is somebody that's lying about what they feel somebody is betrayed somebody feels hurt somebody stabbed themselves somebody has betrayed themselves by thinking you were gonna step out of character and you were gonna bo follow their bullshit mind games no you chose to walk away you chose to ignore this person you have not spoken to this person with the lack of clarity you received you didn't even have the clarity on or you didn't even know why this person played mind games with you the way that they did and it disappointed you very much so and you ended things with this person so now it's like you're letting go of that pain or you're learning to release that pain 
you know, you've made a decision that you're no longer going to stay stagnant. You're not going to stay in stuck energy. You're not going to allow yourself to beat yourself up mentally. You're Yeah, you're disappointed by the situation. Yeah, you weren't able to cre communicate what you felt or how you were feeling. But you deserve the truth and honesty. And what this person was doing, they couldn't give you that. I don't know if some of you guys just woke up confused. You don't understand why this person plays so many games. You just have a lack of clarity. You don't understand why you still feel in a way like you would you would give this person your love because that's just the person you are. But this person played a lot of mind games with you. You know, you're sad, but the love that you have, the loyalty, you can't control the fact that you still want to forgive this person. You still want to give this person your love and they don't deserve it but you're still moving on and you're starting new. You know, I feel like you can't hurt people that's really good-hearted, man, because in a way, you still want to be there for this person, despite the fact that this person left you out, left you alone. You know, you've learned your lessons. You learned that you don't want to be with this person. You've learned that. You get that. You've been enlightened. You've taken a time out to really see things from a different perspective. You healed your inner child wounds. You let this situation go. You know that you don't want to reconcile with this person anymore. But it's like you don't understand why you went through what you went through. You don't understand that. Now you got you got a lot of attention on you, Sagittarius. You got somebody that wants to come back because this person wants to give you their attention here. But I feel like you got somebody, you got two other people that's about to come in or try to offer you a relationship. You got somebody that's going to give you that genuine love, that fulfilling happiness. Because when you were with this ex, it was pain on top of pain. There was no fulfilling energy to that. Your spare guides are letting you know they're going to make things right for you. They're going to make things right for you. They're going to make sure that you don't have to stress or cry about this situation anymore they want you to know you may not be clear about who this masculine is to you but there's going to be somebody here that's going to restore balance and bring back balance and they're going to treat you like the goddess that you are because you are meant to have this person in your life this newer energy this male this is somebody that has not made themselves clear to you but this is somebody that's on the same they're on the same level as you this is somebody that has been hurt as well. This is somebody that has been deceived. This is somebody that's sad or depressed. They're unclear about how you feel. And you're unclear about how this new energy feels. But you and this person are going to be stable together. You're going to be balanced. You're going to be able to... This person is going to allow you to move on from your past person here. This is somebody that's going to speak their truth to you. They're going to be honest with you. They're going to communicate their feelings to you. They're going to have no problem being loyal to you, telling you how they feel about you, and being honest with you. They're going to have all of that and more. You're taking a leap of faith. You're finally taking a leap of faith to start something new after being in a repeat, repetitive cycle of mind games. And now you're seeing your success and how far you've come and you deserve this new beginning it's time for you to have this new beginning because you're too loving you're too nurturing you're too loyal and you do not deserve to give that energy to the wrong people you don't you've been praying for a relationship or praying for something that's going to bring you peace you've been so defensive because you know that they there's been a lot of men that didn't want shit from you. You've been through massive changes. You've been through transformation on top of transformation, Sagittarius. But the thing is, you deserve love. I'm, I feel like you're tired of reaching out to people. You're tired of dating. You're tired of committing, being loyal, being honest. And people just betray you. It's not fun anymore. You're tired of that. So I do feel like you got somebody new in your energy that is going to be aligned with you aligned with you aligned this is somebody that's going to know what they want they're, they're not going to have a problem communicating with you you're going to communicate with this person a lot it's going to be fulfilling for you it's a wish fulfillment it's a wish fulfillment it's something that's going to be fulfilling for you get out of your head you made the right decision to let things go. You've healed. You recovered. Somebody may feel like something's still not over because they missed that opportunity with you. They missed that chance with you. That's on them. Let them stay where they thought that they can lay their head at. You made your bed. Now lay in it. Now somebody feels like they want to pretty much attach themselves to you. 
So now this person is it's like they have this obsession because you're not giving in to them. You're not giving this person your time. They ghosted you. They left you for somebody else. They chose a toxic situation that was not going to last for a long time. Not knowing you were a real wish fulfillment. And you see how you're pouring out of that person. Even if you still love this person, you're still nurturing it with your love. But you're about to give your full heart to a new person that is wish fulfillment for you. You are. And it could happen this Aries season. It could happen today. You can meet this soulmate tomorrow. That's the energy I'm getting. Like somebody's about to come in and treat you the way you're supposed to be treated. Fuck these people that's been playing mind games with you. Because these people, they're not getting no chance. They don't get a second chance. They don't get to come back. They don't get to come back. All they do is cause you unnecessary baggage. And you don't deserve that. It's time for you to let go of that burden. And let go of that responsibility that you feel is your responsibility. No. No, it's not your responsibility. That's not your... You're not supposed to carry that weight of what others done to you. No. You deserve love. You deserve honesty. You deserve commitment. And you're not getting... And until you get that, you're going to be very fucking blunt with these people. You're going to be very blunt. Because until you receive what you put out, you're not getting any... You're not going to give anybody your time. You have a stable relationship coming your way, Sagittarius. You're being guided. You have been guided. You've been moving on into calmer waters. You have a stable relationship that's going to be long-lasting for you and another person coming your way. It's coming your way. And y'all know, I don't never talk about stable relationships coming your way. You've been really reevaluating your investments you've been reevaluating a lot of things in your life have been changing a lot of things in your life and you're ready to offer your love to somebody you're ready to offer your love to somebody you're ready to give love and be in love without having to think about the drama you want to be deeply in love with somebody you want to fall in love with somebody again and know how, what you're feeling and how you feel about this person because you know how you feel about people you're gonna have somebody here that's gonna try to come in and rush in that's very fucking inconsistent but let me tell you something it's not gonna go anywhere because this person ain't ever in their life been consistent with you so why do they want to come towards you because you're happy now you're happy this person's stressed out they're worried they're panicking they're scared they're nervous not sleeping at night time because they fucking blew what made them happy you made them happy the grass was not greener on the other side and now they want to cry they want to stay up stressed. They want to be worried about you now. But they have chose what they wanted to do. They had so many chances to make things right with you. And they didn't. So now the next person that comes in to treat you the way you should be treated, they just got to deal with that. They just have to deal with that. There's nothing they can do about that. There's nothing they can do. They just got to cry. You cried all those lonely, sleepless nights, right? You did too. So... They can't get mad. Oh, well, you turned your back on them. Let them go cry themselves over the river. Let them go eat ice cream because they didn't care when they were living life or they were doing things that made them happy, right? So now that you're gone and out of their life, they don't got to worry about you. You're healed. You're balanced. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. They're miserable. This person is fucking miserable without you. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Like, literally fucking miserable. Literally. Miserable. Because... They let go of an earth angel. Literally. That's what I'm going to title your reading. They let go of an earth angel. Who is this new love energy? Show me this person's energy. Because I'm about to go in. I'm about to go in. This person's going to come in after you've let go of um, your pain. After you've really ended something. This, is, this person's coming in. This period of feeling hurt. I feel like your person's going through that. This person's going through betrayal and painful ass endings while you are about to receive love because you're not fighting you're not fighting no more you're you're letting go of this situation you know so you're being offered a new love offer somebody here this new love energy is in love with you they could have recently liked your posts or they've been restricting themselves from you um but this person they they want a relationship they want marriage they want love this is somebody that you're gonna fall in love you're gonna have a stable relationship sagittarius in the next four months four weeks somebody you've known in your past before they're gonna come back and they're gonna want to reconcile with you this is somebody that loves you like you could have went to school with this person 
could live near this person. It could have been the same neighborhood. Y'all could both have children together. But this is somebody that's going to come in. And they're offering you love. It's going to be sweet mo memories, sweet energy. It's not going to, this person's not going to rush things. They're going to take things slow. Like, I feel like this is something you really deserve. And your spirit guides are like, listen, we're making things right with, for you. We're making sure that you deserve the love that you get. You know, we have not left you out. We have not forgot about you. You deserve this. And we're giving you what you deserve. This person's going to come in and make you happy. They're going to fulfill you. This person is going to take their time with you. They're going to... I feel like this person's going to express their self before you. Like, this person's going to be opening up a lot. You know? I feel like it's going to be mutual. It's going to be balanced. And this is somebody that... This is the way it's supposed to happen. This person has to watch you reconcile with somebody here. And get a commitment. And be married to this person. Stable. This person's going to have to watch you move on. And that's their karma. You know, and you've been single for a while now. You've been single for a while now because you had to release any negative energies around you that will be stopping you from 